just started up the laptop. What is going on? We're gonna fix it. That screen means that your computer either has trouble communicating with your hard drive or has trouble starting an operating system located on that same hard drive. So we have to troubleshoot, meaning change one variable at a time. You change more than one variable, two, three, whatever, then you don't know exactly how to fix it. You just know that a shotgun worked. So we gotta do one variable at a time, change them, reboot, see if it works, change another one, reboot, see if it works. First thing you wanna do is make sure all of your USB ports do not have anything plugged into them. If you have USB keys and those kind of things plugged in, the laptop may be booting, trying to boot to those USB keys, giving you this error. Next thing you wanna do is double check the hardware. See the F2? Hit F2. Test your hard drive. Do a quick check. If you have hard drive problems, you might need to buy another hard drive. You also might need to install an operating system on a new hard drive. Hard drives are a pretty big deal. It's where all your stuff is stored. So if you have hard drive troubles, it's a whole nother can of buckets of worms that you need to figure out. So it turns out this is my problem, that the laptop cannot see a hard drive installed in it. So going down this rabbit hole, there's two things that could be happening. One, the hard drive is actually dead, okay? Number two, the port that the hard drive is plugged into on the computer is dead. Yes, that happens. There is a chip, there is some sort of microprocessor, there's something running that port. If that chip dies or a lane coming from that port dies, the system will not be able to run data through that port. It will not see a hard drive, even if the hard drive is fine. So if I power this puppy off and power it back on, what happens? Let's check. <gasps> no, it works? What's going on, on, on? Here goes. Ba bam bam Okay, so here's the problem. After about five minutes of working, this thing will give me this blue screen. Um, so I have the worst problem you could possibly have in this situation, and that's an intermittent problem. I have to now figure out if it's the port that's the problem or if it's the SSD that's the problem. If you have this intermittent problem of blue screening and coming up saying that it can't boot, then you need to image your hard drive over to another one and put a new hard drive in. If the system still has the same problem, then your port is the problem because we changed out the hard drive. If the problem stops after you've imaged over everything from one drive to another, then the problem was your hard drive. Now, there's one other way to fix this. If your hardware test comes out fine, I'm gonna boot here and spam a bunch of F keys so I get into the BIOS. There it is. If you need help with your BIOS, Google your laptop's model number and put in how to get into BIOS because I don't have the answer to that question. Everything is different. We're going to head on over to system configuration, which by the way is different on every single laptop. Go down to boot options and I'm going to talk to you about legacy support and secure boot. So your system, if you've installed an operating system, via legacy support, which is kind of the old way of doing it, which is straight up master boot records and those kind of things. You boot up again and everything's set to back to defaults, so then it's gonna try and boot the way this thing is trying to boot right now, which is via the secure boot, or another word for it is UEFI. So that's probably what's happening in most people's cases. It's the way that you're booting it is incorrect because the way that you're booting it um, is not the way you installed the operating system. So you'd simply, in Enable that and disable that, and then you're good to go. Um, the other way is your boot order is screwed up. So my in my boot order is um, OS Boot Manager, which would be the UFEI, and then uh, going down the line here. But if you have um, if you have like a USB first, and you have a USB stick in there, or you have a CD in your CD drive, you didn't realize. Um, and it's trying to boot off that, then you're gonna have the same problem. We did it, thank you for watching. If you can't get into your system's BIOS, I'm sorry, they're all different all the time, so make sure you Google it. See you guys next time, ciao.